everybody it's Angela here again welcome back to my channel how are we all doing hope you're having good weather relaxing days and finding some time to take care of yourselves and also to craft um, crafting is the best relaxation therapy for me and I know for many of you as well so today I've got an exciting little project we are on to envelope 22 so and it's looking lovely and purple because I know lots of you love purple too so this is what we're going to make for envelope 22 and before I um, get into it um, I don't know if any of you know the My Porch Prints um, Wildflowers uh, kit um, and how much I really love it and I know lots of you love it well yesterday when I was um, looking through my Etsy papers I got a little notification about a new kit that my porch prints have done and it's based on the one we're going to use today which is also called wildflowers and I'll put the link in the description box below um, and this is some of the pages from that kit and let me tell you I thought the first one was stunning but this one is even better so I just couldn't help myself and I bought this and I just had to use it today because I'm in love with it. And I, oh, it's just works so well, obviously, with the other one. But you get so many bits of ephemera in here. Beautiful envelopes and all sorts of things. And I just had to have it. So we're going to use this page from that kit today, which is gorgeous. Um, and I just thought I'd show you just one or two others that I printed. Um, look at that. Isn't that stunning? Love that frame. And the graphics are beautiful as well. So there's that one. And here's just another one um, that I printed because I wasn't sure which one I was going to use today. So, oh, I just love this. This is absolutely amazing. So those are just some of the pages from that kit. Um, I've used a lot of the ephemera today um, for the envelope. And I've printed them two to a page, so two copies per one sheet of paper. So it makes them smaller. Um, and obviously I didn't use all the ephemera because there's loads, but um, God, isn't that page stunning? So that is what we're going to use today as the base and the front. You can see that's the front of the envelope right there. So that piece right there, I think it's so pretty. I love all of this with the browns and the golds and... <gasps> just gorgeous so that's what we're going to do and what i printed on the other side of this was one of the other my port prints and i think this was from a different kit uh, for the life of me i can't think what it is it might be hmm i'll look that up and put that link in there as well but uh, i know it's part of one of the others i think it was an ephemera kit as well so i'll put that in there for you as well so because this is an envelope and we don't want it too thick I've printed this on 150 gram paper so that if you in the US that's almost double the thickness of the standard copy paper which in this country is 80 grams so it just gives you an indication because I'm not really sure how that works with your um, weighting of paper but there we go all right so it's it's almost double the thickness of copy paper so i've printed on both sides and that's going to give us the thickness we need and also we don't want to see white paper on there you could use tea stain paper and do that um, and print on one side that would also work um it's up to you all right so that's what we're going to do that's the piece of paper for the envelope itself and then if we turn it over and i did try and do the magnets again ladies but i don't win with magnets Right, so when we open that up like that, now you can see the inside of that um, envelope. Um, this is just the front little bit. That's one of the images from that kit as well. Well, everything is from the this new kit. And I just, oh, the colours are just to die for. So we've got that there. So when we open it up, we've got a mini version of what I was doing the other day for the middle spread except i've done this with one piece of paper and i'm going to show you how i've done that so we've got our little folder over here i've taken a little tag from the kit made it a pocket i've just pre pressed out a little tag from my own um, tags uh, from some craft paper and a little mini tag there 
stamped on it made another little tag and then this is one of the ones from the kit which i have stenciled all on the back of these so that goes in there let's see we are in frame if i open that up i've made a little pocket here and stuck two little bits in there stenciled this is tea stain paper um i didn't want to make it too busy here's a little envelope from the kit isn't that gorgeous and then one of the other little bits of ephemera from the kit as well which i've stenciled onto the back all right so those slide in there into that little pocket again from the kit here's just one of the little um sayings or bannered sayings that they had you belong among the wildflowers i love that i've sewn it onto the pocket here put a little button on and just put it on there and then we have two little tags which are bits of ephemera just put on a little piece on there and that goes into that pocket all right and then we turn it over and we've got another little banner that i've sewn a button onto and another two pieces of ephemera in there so there's little postcards as well it's really lovely all right so we've got all of that and then this side we've got a little pocket love that um another two bits in there we open that up We've got two little bits stuck in that pocket there and then we've got a pocket in the middle with two little bits of ephemera in there so it is really a very pretty kit and it was perfect for this project today all right so we just close that up close that over close that up and close that down but before i just want to count one two three four uh five six seven pockets so we've got seven pockets in there that's quite a lot all right so it all closes so um tightly together and close it with whatever format you if you're better with the magnets then that might be a good idea but i'm not great with the magnets all right so that would be an amazing piece of happy mail to get sent to somebody or or just to send with a journal or just a thank you or even for someone's birthday, just any reason. There's just so many reasons. You could stick some money in the middle pocket if it's one of your grandchildren or, um, you know, your daughter or somebody's birthday and you wore a voucher. It could be used for so many things. And I just think it's so pretty. So I'm going to talk you through how I did this today. Okay, so grab a piece of paper that you want to use for the envelope and grab yourself a piece of... Uh, tea stain papers which I'm going to use for the pocket piece and then what I'm using today is my little envelope template number two for the actual envelope size so it is a ten and a half by ten and a half centimeters um, I'll tell you what that is in inches I think it's four four point two four and a quarter inches by four and a quarter and then obviously the flaps that go on the side so that's the size of the finished envelope all right so if you're wanting templates i do have them in my etsy shop and i will leave the link there for you to go and have a look but obviously you don't have to have that that's for just uh, for if you are into templates all right and i use these a lot okay so what we want to do first of all is let's cut out our uh, shape for the actual a cover of our envelope and that's done and dusted so I'm going to use my template and I just want to make sure that I do have it the right way and I know I did it up at this end so I'm just lining this up with the edges of the paper here yeah and then we'll just hold that and draw around the edges carefully now you can do this i always say use really thick card stock like a cereal box or something um, or acetate or anything that's uh, firm acetate one is great because uh, you can then see through what you're doing so there's our actual template um, for what we are going to use today so that can go to the side and we can quickly just cut that out so i'm afraid of the scissors at the moment <laughs> so i'm going to watch what i'm doing so i might just speed this bit up oh 
just had a, a rattling phone call from a scammer on the phone who really upset me. I'm sure that you've all had your experience with that. And um, it took me a cup of tea to calm down before I could sit down and get on with my crafting video today. I'm just sick and tired of people taking advantage. Um, you know, and they can be so believable as well. I've obviously got one of those um, faces or something. <laughs> anyway, my, my uh, family member sorted it out for me. So there we go. And it is just a load of rubbish. But yeah, you know, you do start to question yourself. Right, so there we go. That's what we're using. Isn't that so, so pretty? I just love that. That's my favorite. Right, keep this because you never know what you could do. You could get a lovely tag out of that, another tag there, or a little bit of a journal card or a pocket. Keep that. I mean, I would use that most definitely. I'll probably find a use to cut out circles or something out of that. I'm so sad. But anyway, that's what we like, aren't we? Every last little thing is kept. Right, so that's our little envelope. We're going to just fold along the lines there. So I'm just going to take my ruler and I'm going to match up that point there with this one over here. And I'm just going to, there and there, just going to score that there with my bone folder. And then I'm going to do the same over here. I just like to keep it lined up. I don't know why, it's just habit, habit. All right, so we'll do that there. And then this last one here as well. Okay, so there we go. And now it's just a case of folding those all over. Oh, I didn't do that one why it wasn't going so amicably over right so okay so we got that one we've got this one and just our two sides so there we go Easy as pie. Right. Yeah, that's all perfect. I just wanted to line those up, just burnish that bottom one there. And there we have it. And if you want to just make sure that it's all nice and straight, it should be. Um, is just to put it on the lines on your board and there we go that's perfect all right so there's your envelope ready to go perfect perfect all right so we can put that to the side for the moment we'll come back to that later so that can just stay over there what I want to do now is show you how to make the middle bit so what I did was now I'm very mindful of the fact that um, we might be using a letter size paper in the US or an A4. So this is going to work for everybody. So I have worked according to that. Now I will be cutting off a piece of the A4 um, to accommodate so that everybody can work with the same sheet of paper. Um, that one this size will work. All right. So what you want to do first of all is we want to measure, um, turn it to inches. We're going to measure from the left hand side of the paper. We want to make a little mark at the top, uh, which will be uh, four inches. So we've got four inches over there. Then we want to do another one at the eight inches and the uh, one tenth mark, I think it is, over here. And then what I want to do is, depending on what uh, length of paper you have, if you've got a letter, uh, you probably won't be able to do this, but I'm going to go and do 
2.5 inches, 2.5 there, and we're going to cut off that piece over there. Right, so I'm going to grab my, oh, and then we want to just get the central point here of our paper. So I'm not going to fold it, I just want to give it a one fold there and one little squeeze there. Let's just grab the trimmer. first thing we're going to do is just trim uh, that end of the paper off there, there we go so we're not going to use that piece okay and then we're going to take our bone folder line up the mark on this little cutting area and just with your bone folder just score that area down like that and then the same with this mark over here okay and then line up your middle like that and do a very light score don't press it too hard it's just a guide like that so that's what we're going to use there and um, you can use your trimmer to do this, but this bit here, I'd like you then just to cut a line from there to there um, and don't cut that last section there. So I'm just going to uh, take my knife and run it from that point there. To that point there like that so what you've got now is you've got that part cut in two and that part still joined okay okay so what you want to do now is fold those two corners that are still attached together let's see how that's looking that's better all right and just burnish that bit over there and then what we're going to do is we're going to fold um, along your first score line like that. Just match with the bottom. Run your fingers there like that. And then fold along the next score line, which is that one over there. So bring that forward again as well. Make sure it meets up with the bottom and then just do that, okay? So you've got that. And then what we're gonna do is this bit here, you're going to take over to that side and you're gonna do the same thing. So we're just gonna fold our little flap with a score line up there, line it up. It's got a score line, so it's just a case of naturally go that way like that and then you want to just fold this last flap along that score line so okay can okay, now you'll see that it's just a tenth of an inch um, away from there because you don't want that to be get all bent and ugly and I've done the same for that side so that's why we did four inches four and a tenth and then two and a half all right so now what we have is we've got the basis for what we're going to put into our envelope like that okay now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open this last flap and uh, I'm not really worried about how deep you want this pocket, but um, that's up to you. I'm just gauging it here and probably leaving about an inch, I think. Yeah, it's about an inch and a quarter that I've just folded that in like that because we will be sticking that down in a minute. All right, so that will go like that. Um, and the same on this side. So it's about an inch and a quarter and just lining it up so that I, I know that I'm not 
getting it wrong and it's just eyeballing it here all right so there we go so there we've got the basis for our little um inside of our envelope right i've got a new glue here so it's all nice and working and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to run a little bit of glue when it decides to work <laughs> oh come on oh, angela yes that will explain why the glue is not working <laughs> i tell you right how many of you do that all the time i'm terrible i never pay attention right so we're just going to give that a little squeeze and a very thin little bit of glue just along that piece over there and we are then going to just very gently hold that down like that there we go right i'm back ladies uh, my camera ceased to function after i stuck down that um, you've just missed a few things but nothing serious but let me just talk you through them quickly all right, so we ended off by sticking down that area there and I went and did the same thing on the other side. So that's that. And the boring bit that you missed was me inking everything, which I would have sped up anyway. Um, and I have just put on, stenciled a few bits so on these areas here, just because it is tea stain paper and really a blank canvas. So I've just put little bits of stenciling here and there. And then what I did was I've just stuck down the first tag, glued it on those three sides over there and made it into a little pocket. So what I'm going to do is I'll decorate this as I go. So made a little tag out of craft paper and stuck another little one on the top there with a bit of linen thread. So that goes into there. Um, and then I just took another little tag which I have just stenciled on the back. I didn't want to um, back them with anything because I don't want this to become too thick. So I've just stuck that in like that over there. So that's that little pocket done. Now, once we turn that over like that, we have a little pocket over there. And I've just taken these two little bits of ephemera that are in the kit, um, are really cute. And I've stuck those into that little pocket over there. All right, now just remember I said when I printed the ephemera from the kit, I have printed two copies per sheet of paper, so they do go half a size. So that's why they're little. Right, for this bit over here, I used an actual pocket from the kit. And it was an actual pocket like that. Um, I have just inked around that and I have folded in the flaps. So I'm going to put that over there. So that's what we're going to do there. And I will say that the um, images in this kit, the ephemera, are so pretty. Um, my Stephanie always does a beautiful job of the ephemera. And I was a bit sad that the wildflower kit didn't have much. Um, but this additional one that works so well, because I mean, they have a similar look. Um, with better, um, some better pages, in fact, in my opinion. Um, it's just fantastic. Um, and I can foresee myself making a journal with, with everything. I just think it's so pretty. Beautiful purples and pinks and touches of blues and violets and yellows as well. So it's really just so pretty. Okay, so we've got a little pocket stuck in here. And then um, I've taken one of the little envelopes. How cute is that? I've just folded in those flaps there and inked it all up. And I'm um, going to just put some glue on the sides there. So that's easy done. Um, and because it's so little and I don't like that white, again, I just take a, a stencil, um, any stencil. I use my um, antique linen, as you know, for this. And I just find um, part of the stencil and stencil that onto the white area. You can just rub your uh, dauber on there. It just gives it a bit of interest and 
you know, not boring. So I'm going to stuff that envelope in there like that. Um, and then we are just going to find another little bit that goes in here. which is this beautiful daisy one, which says autographs, I think. Yeah, so pretty. All right, and again, I've just stenciled on the back there. So that's gonna just slide into that pocket over there. So that's our two bits there. That's what we've got over there. You could even stencil some more over there. This is our, our center pocket. I've just notched out one of the, with my uh, circle punch one of those little thumbnail things and put some stenciling on there and then what i did was i got a little banner which i've done something with gosh everything is like disappearing what have i done with the banner for that oh my days it's one of these days and I had it here earlier so it's something like this this is the pink one and I've got a purple one it's going to turn up and I dropped it on the floor oh well, I have <laughs> that's where it is it's on the floor getting ridden on so that's not good. All right, so we've got the purple one here. You belong among the wildflowers, and which has got a bit bent underneath the wheel of my chair. So that's not very good. But what I did was I just stitched a little button on the end there. So once the stitch uh, goes down, it's one of these days where everything's going wrong today. Please stop. All right. So we got, we've got that, and really I didn't need to, you see, I'm not paying attention now, didn't need to put glue right to the end. So this just goes here and gives it a little bit of excitement. Just going to lift that up a bit. Okay. There we go. So that's going to go over there just like that. So we've, we've pretty much covered everything we wanted to do on that side. Other than we want to just lift this out so this can stand up for a bit and we can put in our other little bits of ephemera in there. So look at that beautiful card. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful thistles. So that's going to go in here. That's the one bit. And then I had another tag, which is this beautiful one, which got a lot of um, purples on. There was another one. Right, it's that one. A lot more purples in it. And all I did was I took a piece of trim that I have that was gifted to me. I think Gina gave me this and I do love it. It's beautiful because I think she said it came from Hobby Lobby and... I can't get anything from there so I really love that and um, I'm going to just put that on the top of this tag so we'll just get that and we'll stick that there because that's going to be beautiful it's going to add a little bit of thickness but hey -oh. <laughs> you know there we go so while that's drying it can stand up right in there and it's going to go on that side okay um, and then on the other side of that I put another two pieces of ephemera which was a little postcard and um, so how cute is that really it's adorable and then I'm just looking for something else which has disappeared oh there we go gosh um so these two pieces i'm putting on the other side and i've stenciled on the back of those as well so i'm just putting that in there and that over here and that will give us a, a bit of a ephemera stack in the middle there so we can turn that over like that now with this banner um i put it like that the other way so 
um, I've also sewn a button on here which I suppose also gives it bulk so you don't need to do all of this but I don't know it just I liked it so there we go so we just stick that down there all right so we've got that in place looking good and then we're going to let's do this little pocket over here so I've got another little piece that looks like a little check um, and that I'm going to use as a pocket and stick that over there so i um, just going to stick it down on the three sides there we go and I'm just gauging it there so pretty and then I, got, I had two pieces of ephemera in there as well so it's another one of these which is really pretty and that's going to go in there and I had another little postcard which is also really pretty and remember you can resize these and make these bigger for uh, an actual bigger journal or something um, it's just I've made them smaller they're not this small um, in the kit so that that goes in there so that's really pretty and then um, on the inner side um, over there I have just got another two little tags that I've cut out um, and those are going to slip into that little pocket over there like that one with the, with the like book page look and then on the front side I've taken the little garden calendar um, tag I'm going to just do that make this into a little pocket like that And we're going to stick that down just over here. And then I just put a little tag in there. Oops. And then another little one just in there. All right. So I'm not going to press them right down at the moment because this is still wet. All right, so that's what we've got. Now, I just put, um, I had a little bit of washi tape here. Oh, here it is. Um, and you don't have to do this. But this is just me trying to, like, make it my own. So, for example, in on this section, I just put a little bit of this script washi tape. Added it over there and added it on this one over here like that um, I don't want to add too much bulk to it so we've got everything decorated on the inside now all right so there we go now let's just make sure that that tag is not sticking out just move those up a bit you can always adjust that one to done the next step right so on this section what we want to do is we want to um, stick this down into our actual base of our um, envelope so this is easily done and it's just a case of running your glue all over the back um, make sure you go close enough to the edge so it doesn't lift There we go. Like that. And then make sure you get it down at the bottom. And you centralize it um, into your envelope. And then hold that down for a bit. While you wipe off the glue off your fingers. I'm always full of glue and ink. I've always got stained fingers and, you know, all of that. Right. So there we have it. That's all in place. And you can then just keep pressing it. All right. I think that's stuck. All right. So what we want to do now is we want to do the front. So close your flaps. And... Um, close it all up it does get a bit thick but it's fine 
All right, we'll come to the opening at the end. So at this point, I'm just going to, um, the closure, I should say, at the end. So at this point, I'm just going to turn it over. And then we want to just decorate the front. So let's just quickly do that. Um, I'm just closing my other one so I can follow along what I did. Now, the first thing I did was I took a piece of paper um, like this. And I just concertinaed that like that. for the bottom edge so that wasn't too difficult and that's going to end up being stuck just over there and what I did was I wanted to sew some lace on so I just dobbed some glue um, in between the little concertinas there and then I just just to hold it in place for for the, the sewing that I wanted to do and, and you don't need to sew this either but there we go so that was that um, and then what I did was I had a little bit of lace so we've got this this is an antique piece of lace which I love 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 and then it's going to go over each side like that so we can stick that down so let's just put some glue along there right it's curling up now Okay, I quite liked it extending along. So there we go. And then I just had a little bit of scrap, which was perfect color for what I wanted to. And I'm going to just um, pull this at the ends like that. And I'm going to just stitch this um, randomly. So it's gonna be a bit messy and you could glue this down um, on there. So when I come back, I will have done that quickly with a bit of a zigzag stitch. So I'll see you in a few secs. Okay, so there we have it. I've just stitched that randomly over the top there. Um, and that's going to go and be stuck on the bottom there. But I'm going to do that um, a little bit um, into what I need to do. Let's just plonk two of these um, little hobby craft mini flowers on. I'm going to choose one of these pink ones. Um, and these are just really small little flowers um, and I just wanted two of those and that I'm going to glue down and let them dry while I uh, finish off the rest of what I want to do here so we'll put that one over there and that one next to it just like that Okay, so we'll leave that to dry for a minute, um, just like that, right, so that's perfect. Okay, and then what I did was, I had a little frame that I've made, so I've cut this out of a die cut um, that I just bought, it was a no-name brand die cut, I got second hand from somebody, it didn't have any brand, it was just in a um, loose, in a little bag, um, and I've cut that out and I've sewn around it. Um, in these raspberry colors and lilacs and then um, I am going to just frame that little flower there um, and as you can see I've just stitched two mother of pearl little um, buttons on there so I'm going to stick that down quickly um, so we'll do that right just like that and then what I have got is a little butterfly that I've found um, I think it's from Pinterest this one um, and then I'm just going to stick that down as well quite liked it it had like a side so like it's just resting on the side there so we're going to put that on over there and we do want to grab a little pearl so oops this side so we want to grab a little pearl and i'm going to just grab my pokey tool and we just want to put a little pearl on the middle there like that 
that. So that's that. And then I had a little word I stamped onto a piece of um, tea stand paper, or it might have been a vintage page. And I'm just going to stick that over the edge there like that. So um, these I just stamped myself. There we go. So I quite like that. So that's looking beautiful. So now um, I loved all of that and this, and I just wanted to add a little bit more excitement here. So what I've got is I've got a bit of a lavender bit that I'm going to stick down over there. And then I have got a little bit of a pink one that I'm going to stick a little bit out over there. Now these are, yeah, that's it. So I'm going to have the lavender bit there and I'm going to, stick that out just a bit I think like that and then I've got a little bit of a purple one and I thought I would do that just like that something like that so that when we put our little bit on the bottom that's sort of just coming out at the bottom there all right so let's just start with this one these again also I think I got them off eBay no not a particular brand or anything so I can't help you there, but they're just little leaves. Um, sometimes you find these things and they, they don't have a brand and it's really hard to, you know, tell somebody. <laughs> you can't remember every single thing that you buy. Well, I definitely can't. So let me see where I want this before I glue it. I think I'm going to just cut the bottom off there so I don't glue beyond the the point of what I need so we'll just stick that on right so we'll just stick that like that and then we'll do the side over here again the same thing do I want it a bit higher I think so I don't want everything Okay, so it's just the bottom two leaves I need to chop off there. So that's all right. Let's get that all down. Okay, so just wanted this a little bit higher than that one, ever so little. Just like that. Okay, perfect. We can just chop that off the bottom there. Like that. Um, and now all that we need to do is we need to just put on these little, this little bit over here. I'm going to just put some glue underneath here. Just so that this is going to sit down a bit. Not be so raised and that will hopefully do its thing okay I don't want it oozing through so I think that's better right now we can just put some glue on here I do like my music paper and scraps of it I do use a lot um right so this will go on to up until the end there and the little uh, lace bits just sticking over which is perfect and then this little flowers middle is not quite where I want it and they often do that <laughs> and it does annoy me so I'm gonna just take my pokey tool and move it where I want it right so there we go everyone we have now created our um, envelope 22 so there's the one we've just created together and here's the one I made earlier um, and I hope that you've enjoyed it. So as I said, you can put on your little Velcro bits there if you want, which I probably will end up doing or I might try the, the um, 
magnets again or you can just use a paper clip if you want and clip that into your journal that's also an option and i do like doing that as well you can always just make yourself one of these little goodies to go on top of your paper clip but in a um, these kind of shades so that's also an option and i hope that you've liked what we've done today i mean it's really pretty i think um, also made from one page in the middle you've got your one you've got two you've got three four we said seven didn't we five six seven pockets again um and a really lovely gift for somebody and really beautiful to go into your journal as well i mean i will definitely put this into my journal um so i hope that you've enjoyed the, um doing this with me today um and i look forward to seeing you again in my next video please do, uh, leave a comment please do leave a comment um uh, give me a thumbs up if you've liked it or a thumbs down if you don't um you're entitled to that as well um i don't take events so you know you can't please everybody all the time i do know that um and let me know what you think and i'll see you all next time thank you all so much for watching Bye bye